Welcome to another episode of The Brand Called You, a video and podcast show that brings you leadership lessons, knowledge, experience and wisdom from hundreds of successful individuals from around the world. A lot of you may have seen this very successful Netflix movie web series called Queen's Gambit. Today we have our own queen that was a movie we have our own queen of chess in real life flesh and blood anupma gokhle anupma welcome to the show thank you and uh, very nice of you to invite me a chess player is uh, always a uh, different from uh, you know routine normally people go for uh, more famous sports like cricket and football and everything so well, uh, on behalf of all the chess fraternity i must thank you for inviting thank you so much thank you So Anupma is a chess player she is an international woman master from 19, 1985 she was awarded the padma shri in 1986 the arjuna award in 1990 she was the asian chess queen in 1985 and 1987 she represented india in many international events she has been a national and asian champion and she's been a medal winner at the commonwealth games so anupma tell me what would you say are three key milestones in your life or your career uh fortunately the first milestone came uh, very early i started playing chess in 1982 mm-hmm. and in 1985 i won uh, both my first international event that was the asian junior girls championship mm-hmm. and in the same year i also won the asian women championship which was a very very prestigious event Correct. where even the chinese and all the strongest player in asia participated mm-hmm. so these both successes came at the same year and it was a big uh, big milestone for me mm-hmm. and it uh, played a major part in uh, guiding my career because i was very good in studies as well okay. so i was all the time thinking whether to continue with chess because that means sidelining with, with my studies because i was very interested in studying science mm-hmm. and many people told me you cannot uh, you, you know accommodate all the practicals and mm-hmm. doing practicals and everything studies along with the chess mm-hmm. so uh, chess will have to take a back seat so these uh, two successes they played a major uh, guiding role in my uh, career in that uh, they defined that i will become a chess player amazing and fortunately i had parents who encouraged me on uh, whatever i wanted to pursue my uh, passion so uh, fortunately i could continue fantastic then uh, then came uh, i think about 5 uh, 6 years later i started doing well in open chess events as well because these two were, uh, were events for women only so i started doing very well in open events where even uh, boys or men participated i uh, stood second in national junior championship i won uh, maharashtra state championship that is open event mm-hmm. and it was uh, very well appreciated in the chess fraternity because uh, it was very rare at that time that a woman would uh, you know come and win a men's uh, mm-hmm. me- because there were hardly any other women participants there correct so uh, you could call it men's championship as well because uh, i was the only woman participating mm-hmm. there then i also won the uh, all india open chess uh, champ championship that was called limca open at hyderabad mm-hmm. and that was uh, the second uh, milestone you can say it was uh, that we, uh, my good show in all these three events mm-hmm. uh, in the open chess tournaments wow. so uh, that again you know stamp that my um, passion is not uh, uh, baseless you know it is very well founded on my hard work and it, uh, my hard work really paid off and then uh, in 1997 i won uh, the record uh, making national women championship for the fifth time wow. so that was uh, because there was uh, by that time lot of competition was coming up mm. many young players were coming up and it was a very uh, challenging event for me to win that uh, championship i already had a kid also mm. and um, uh, so i could prove that uh, like having kid also you can continue with your Fantastic. career and do very well in the chess events Fantastic. so these three you can say are the milestone for me Beautiful. and amazing milestones so you know anupma tell me why did you you know when when you were growing up academically you were brilliant right as yeah. you just said and at that time with parents who supported you for chess you could have played any other game what made you select chess 
I, it was my passion for the game, you can say, because um, it came quite accidentally because I used to play chess at home with my uh, father and my brother, you know, uh, just like we play any other mm. game I used to play. Mm. I did not even know the rules correctly mm. uh, of the game and just used to play as a pastime. Okay. But uh, when in my school, uh, they decided to send a team, mm. then I gave my name and uh, I used to like the sport from the beginning, you can say. Mm. And uh, my passion for the game was uh, the main, uh, you know, uh, guiding force in my continuing the, with the game. Fantastic. Mm. So and for chess, I can uh, tell you that passion is very important because uh, like in any other sport, you have to work very hard for chess mm. because uh, it is, you can say now, uh, because the time I played chess, it was uh, quite original. So there were no, but after the computers came in, uh, there was a major change in mm. scenario and you, you have to work very hard nowadays because you get to, to see the, many or most of the games online mm. and the information and knowledge you catch is, uh, has become very different and you have to be all the time, you have to be updated. Um, it was not so much uh, during my time as they are shown in the serial Queen's Gambit also. Mm. Mm. That time chess was more original. Mm. And um, nowadays it has become uh, computerized, uh, you know, you have to work a lot with your knowledge, update and everything. Very interesting. So, you know, uh, I'm going to ask you, since you spoke about Queen's Gambit for the thousands of our viewers and listeners, uh, Queen's Gambit is a type of a move in chess. Is that right? Yeah, it is an uh, opening, like a set of moves. Uh, first five, six moves, if you play that way, it is called Queen's Gambit. Queen's Gambit. Okay. So, you know, uh, Anupa, you're coming back to chess again. I'll come back to your second innings in chess a little later. But, you know, when you were earlier playing competitive chess, how did you prepare yourself for a big match? Uh, it was um, done both technically as well as uh, mentally. You have to be very strong mm -hmm. to play a game because, uh, uh, as I said, chess is different from uh, many games in uh, many respects mm. because in uh, cricket see if you concentrate very well and score 98 runs and get out mm. okay fine you will um, miss your century and you will feel very bad about it um, you miss just by two runs mm. but at least 98 runs you scored will be with you mm. that people can see that you got out on 98 yeah. but in chess if you you know if you work very hard on the board and you get winning position but you do some mistake in the end just mm. for the end two minutes and you lose the game or you draw the game mm. only the score remains with you if you yeah, lose yeah. the game winning game also the score of zero points remains with you and you don't get any bonus points for, you know, you were winning throughout the game. Yes. So literally you have to concentrate from beginning till your opponent signs the score mm -hmm. sheet. You have to concentrate yeah, on yeah, that. Yeah, so it's yeah. very, very uh, difficult. Mm -hmm. So you have to focus on um, both physical stamina as well as mental stamina. Mm -hmm. There's a misconception that uh, chess, chess is a only mental game so you don't have to uh, prepare physically but mm. it is not so mm. in uh, Soviet Union that time it was the Soviet, Soviet right. Union so the their peop, uh, the sport was uh, you know like uh, it was taught in schools in uh, Soviet Union mm. and uh, the players who uh, used to come up they were encouraged to take one physical game as well mm. to keep the physical stamina yes. you know? right. so many players are uh, were good in football and uh, other sports. Mm -hmm. They used to take up that game. So uh, you have to be physically fit. So I used to do yoga that time mm -hmm. to keep myself uh, fit. Okay. And uh, it is a very good um, for your mental and uh, physical balance. And uh, of course, technically, you have to prepare very high. As I said, uh, that time, there were no computers. Mm. So we used to maintain registers mm. uh, manually. We used to write uh, what our opponent plays. And, you know, it's a kind of tree, mm. sort of tree, you know, uh, that if I play this move, he will have choice of five moves. Then again, if he plays five moves, each time I have got a choice of two, three moves. Like mm. It goes on like that. Nice. So that tree we used to maintain in register hmm. and uh, so we used to carry all those things um, with us. 
wherever we went for tournaments so our luggage used to be quite heavy very, uh, interesting. That time. very interesting so i'd like this way we used to prepare for the game fantastic so you know it, it has often been said that it is relatively easy to get to the top and i'm saying easy only for sports people like you who are already at the top but it's very difficult to stay there you were at the top for almost two decades what did you do differently that is very true because to maintain yourself because all the time the competition is coming uh, new new players are coming up and uh, with uh, that is only through hard work i can say that um, real success is achieved only through hard work that's mm. what uh, i feel always that uh, okay there can can be some smart ways of doing it mm. and uh, but there are no shortcuts uh, and you have to work very hard for that mm. and i used to work very hard on my chess to okay. um, remain on top amazing you decided to work with bharat petroleum but you you decided to retire from bharat petroleum because you wanted to devote time to chess again tell me what are your plans now with chess uh-huh. Well, I joined Bharat Petroleum basically because uh, that was the norm of the those years because yeah. there were no sponsorships that time in the uh, yeah. sports field. Mm. There may have been some sponsorship for cricket years or something, but um, for uh, other sports, the time was very difficult. Nowadays, things have changed, and many chess players get uh, sponsorship, and so it is it has become a very positive thing, mm. and it's a very good thing that they get picked up at a very young age. Mm. so that time we used to uh, work as sportsmen and mm-hmm. they used to give some time concession half day mm-hmm. concession to mm-hmm. uh, prepare and uh, to get time to prepare for mm-hmm. your sport and everything so that is why i joined uh, bharat petroleum okay. and there were many um, sportsmen uh, that time and with uh, bank and all and i was the first person to join the petroleum sector mm-hmm. and afterwards many people came and um, many people joined other sports car other oil companies as well and uh, we got a very good uh, team of uh, oil companies okay so by the time you are around 40 mm-hmm. uh, they start inquiring whether you want to you know pursue with your career or you want to mm-hmm. uh, join the mainstream you know so at one point of time after playing for 25 years i thought that i am getting stagnated now i am not going moving forward and with lot of new competition coming up i thought uh, why not uh, you know join the mainstream so i opted for mainstream and uh, then i worked in the mainstream for uh, around uh, 10 to 12 years mm-hmm. in bharat petroleum and it was a very fruitful career i enjoyed it also very well yeah and i uh, used to work in a different department it used to solve employee grievances and uh, so it was a nice different kind of work there mm-hmm. and uh, then but my passion is chess after all Correct. then uh, after 10 years i thought uh, that uh, why not give it um, again give, go back to my passion and play chess Nice. not so i mean uh, i don't expect any results nowadays because uh, it has gone to younger generation and um, uh, it will be a miracle if i achieve anything mm-hmm. but um, because the competition is increased so much and our players are doing so well that they are now at the world level performing at world level mm-hmm. so uh, it has uh, chess in india has really taken roots and um, so i thought uh, let me just follow my passion and be associated with chess most of my uh, most okay. of time during my day you know Wonderful. instead of working so that's why i took this uh, decision well, not uh, act per se as to you know uh, give some result or anything but uh, i'm enjoying just uh, the fantastic so you know uh, when you look at the world of chess and i don't know much but i did google it and read a little bit about it uh, Russia, German, Germany, Ukraine, and USA uh, produce the most chess champions. What will it take to produce champions in India year after year? I mean, you know, we will always have one young girl who will like you, who will suddenly become a star and be fantastic. But what happens to the pipeline? 
uh, actually we are doing much better now because if you are aware we have learned uh, one online chess olympiad this time okay as a team so it is a very major uh, milestone in mm -hmm. uh, any sport i believe because team performance is very rare in indian sport whatever the performances have uh, come from like badminton and all it has come at individual level mm -hmm. so you can say that this is a very uh, major milestone in indian sport mm -hmm. that our team has won uh, gold medal in online chess olympiad this year mm -hmm. so uh, we are already doing many things now mm -hmm. because uh, players are getting getting picked up at very young age that is very important getting uh, sponsorship at young age so they can go to europe and they can travel and play in the uh, strongest tournaments possible mm -hmm. and match their wits with the uh, best in the world at very young age so okay. they developed correctly mm -hmm. and um, they have got very good coaching opportunities now so it's very good and uh, we are already doing very well and apart from uh, vishwanathan anand i hope that we get some someone else as also as world champion in um, shortly mm, i so, sincerely hope so uh, but you know tell me again in a country <laughs> in a country like india where uh, education always takes precedence you know we always tell children first study get a job then you do whatever you want to do right uh, yeah. you know and as you just mentioned your parents were very forward looking and gave you the opportunities as you look at children today who want to play chess do you see more and more parents encouraging children to take up chess as a sport ah uh, yes of course because they can also see the opportunities their kid has got mm -hmm. and uh, fortunately you can play chess right from very young age so uh, till the by the time your studies take your toll like on uh, during 10th or 12th you already know the choice you are going to make mm -hmm. because you can keep your um, eyes open wisely and you can uh, see your future because uh, by that time mm -hmm. so if the kid is really doing well their parents do support and they get sponsorship also i mean that is a main a very uh, major part mm -hmm. you know monetary backing is a lot of uh, plays lot of uh, important role in any sport so uh, if he gets uh, he or she gets uh, sponsorships uh, mm -hmm. they are also open and they uh, encourage and you know really nurture their kids very nice and is sponsorship now getting beyond government owned public sector undertaking is the private sector also stepping in yes yes private sector uh, sponsorship they are getting so it is very good very nice so one more question for you uh, before i move to some questions personally for you personally this web series queen's gambit has taken the world by storm yeah you know when i look at uh, the the star of the movie and I, as i talk to you you seem to have had a very similar journey you know tell me what do such uh, stories do for the game or the sport in the world first and foremost i think it has uh, made the game uh, more popular and more uh, reaching to common man mm. because uh, again uh, as i said chess is different from many games mm. in many respects mm. so uh, here to really enjoy the game you must know the basic principles of the basic moves of the game then only you can watch and enjoy and uh, appreciate how the players have played mm. in cricket and football is very easy you know you can uh, even if you don't play it's okay mm. you can uh, enjoy and you can support the players and you know you can enjoy the game but uh, for chess to enjoy the game you must know the basic uh, rules or basic moves of the game otherwise you may not even know uh, it is checkmate and the game is over Correct. so uh, that is the main thing mm. so uh, reaching common man is very difficult for mm. chess and um, so this series has played a major role in that yes, and also as a chess player I, as i appreciate because they have taken a lot of pain to uh, you know uh, uh, research the produce game produce the yeah research the thing and produce the chess technical content in a mm. very, very accurate way mm. that is very difficult and they have really taken pain to do that mm. so as a chess player also i enjoy the series and uh, it has become uh, fantastic uh, it has uh, made the game more popular that is uh, fantastic what i can see fantastic so 
I I have time for two or three questions for you now personally. Yes. Uh, Anupma, for, for someone who has seen the pinnacle of success in the sport that you chose, um, who's now wanting to come back and give give to chess, give back to chess again. At your stage of life, what does success mean to Anupma? Um. See, uh, for me, always success has been whatever your resources are, you put them to good use, best use, and produce the best. Mm. That is the success. Because uh, see, for someone who is coming from a poor background, will have a definitely less resources. Someone coming from rich background will have definitely more resources. Mm. So they must uh, put that to uh, you know good use. Uh, use your all resources mm-hmm. and um, create a support team. Everything you have to do to be successful. Mm-hmm. So uh, if you do that, I think uh, you are successful. Okay. Okay. And a follow-up question to that is for for you, who you know were doing so many things in chess, also working, coming back again to chess. Who or what inspires you? Uh, in chess, technically, I am inspired by Bobby Fischer, mm. who single-handedly fought the Soviet system and um, became world champion. Then I also admire Gary Kasparov for his fighting quality and uh, Vishwanathan Anand because he showed that India can do uh, become world champion. Right. So in sports, so I uh, these three chess players I admire a lot. Okay. And um, personal uh, field, uh, my mother is my inspiration mm. because even at this age, she is doing so many things that uh, you know for uh, socially uh, for blind people and all. She is do working a lot, doing socially uh, very good, Wonderful. and she has been my inspiration throughout as Fantastic. a person. Fantastic. And my last question to you now, uh, Manupa. Thousands of people are going to watch. You know all what you are saying now and we'll keep watching it for several years what would your advice be to a young individual who wants to start uh, playing chess and making it uh, their career like they have to work hard hmm. chess is such a game that they have to work hard but don't forget enjoying the game at the same time because sometimes in the procedure you know it becomes too uh, tedious you can say hmm. and then you also you think like a machine playing um, right. in front of your computer all the time right. so uh, don't forget to enjoy the game at the same time mm-hmm. doing your hard work mm-hmm. and uh, if if uh, they're not getting the success as early as uh, you know you did in your first few games what would you tell them not to lose heart because nowadays the getting success is very is not easy it's very very difficult since the competition has come up like anything mm-hmm. now so they can uh, fix a moment and uh, till that time they can um, work hard on their chess mm-hmm. and then they can decide uh, about their career whether to pursue study or not because nowadays children start at around 5 uh, to 6 years to play chess wow. so they have got ample uh, number of years to decide mm-hmm. whether to you know go for uh, serious studies or serious chess mm-hmm. so they have got ample time so make most of it and decide take your call accordingly Fantastic. but uh, chess is such a game that again uh, you can enjoy it Uh, throughout your life so mm-hmm. you should not uh, give up chess altogether that's what i feel because even if you give up chess for uh, studies you can keep in touch and, you know you can play games on uh, internet and everything you can follow chess mm-hmm. but um, uh, don't give up give it up altogether yeah. uh, because again in your olden uh, years you will find it is of uh, great use to you you will mm-hmm. enjoy the game just by yourself because uh, you need, don't need nowadays even a physical partner to play chess Correct. and play it on internet so it has become very easy to enjoy chess nowadays mm-hmm. wonderful anupma thank you so much it's been such an uh, honor and on my side i would like to add a few Please, slides that uh, i was very much helped by my parents because they were anchor in my career mm-hmm. and uh, my husband and my son they were very very supportive to me and uh, because of all the these um, people i'm what i am today wonderful so wonderful. That, and thank you once again for giving chess player a chance to thank you
it's what what a great way to end with the with gratitude to family fantastic thank you again thank you, thank you so much thank you for listening to the brand called you video cast and podcast a platform that brings you knowledge experience and wisdom of hundreds of successful individuals from around the world do visit our website www.tbcy.in to watch and listen to the stories of many more individuals you can also follow us on youtube facebook instagram and twitter just search for the brand called you